Greetings, good people. Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. This escape beef is brewing and brewing and brewing. Who would have thought that these ladies from this iconic 90s R&B group would fall into the trap of social media? Everything is playing out on social media. I'm starting to think that this is to drive ratings for shows, albums, you be the judge. Okay, so I was going to talk about Latasha's recent interview that she did with a local radio station, but this stuff is kicking off on Twitter. So let's just get straight into this, okay? So Latasha is clapping back at Candy and her sister. She is denying that she stole $30,000 from her sister okay candy has her speak on it show on youtube where she broke down all the times that she sang lead well i guess latasha had time today because she is definitely clapping back and she got some words for miss candy burris tucker like the hit here you go just saying i'm singing lead on there understanding we all sing a lead on now let's be clear I never said that she didn't sing lead. I said she had an issue with me singing lead. Did she forget that I was in the studio at Jermaine's house and I come out and I hear <laughs> all this crying. I come out in the room and I said, what's going on? She's standing outside with Jermaine. He's looking vexed and she's looking crazy with tears in her eyes like, oh, hey, Tasha. I'm like, what's going on here? As I look at him, I'm like, something's wrong and I need to find out what it is. And when I found out, yeah, she was upset by me singing lead. Listen, I ain't never had no problem with her singing lead. Go ahead, girl. That the blow to my chest would come directly. Now, they, she is shady for incorporating this in her video. This is when Candy was on Real Housewives of Atlanta. I'm, I'm not doing this with Latasha. This is, this is grimy. This is absolutely grimy. All right, let's forward this. We don't know if this is copywritten material. Hell no. <laughs> For the record, I did not steal $30,000 from my sister. Mm. You know how she do. What were the other things that were said? You said that I hooked up with Jermaine's dad, and that's absolutely so that, not that was true. The wrong, that was what I said that wasn't correct. She lying. So now, I guess I'll just wait on my apology. Rocky's been in and there's more since 1995 rocky's been in the escape business since 1995 mm. when he was asked by candy to manage the group when originally he was managing me rocky was responsible for bringing in lawyers to reconstruct our deal in 1995 he was the one who brought the great escape tour the only tour where we made millions then when we were escape three Rocky went back out and fought real hard to bring more shows to us because wasn't nobody checking for Escape 3. Rocky also brought Tricky Stewart to the table to executive produce our EP. He even sent Candy all of the music in hopes that she would have a change of heart. Then Rocky reached back out to see if she wanted to come back, even though we didn't want her to. Truth be told, we were making more money without her. Yeah. Name one time when Escape cut Rocky a check after all the shows that he brought. I guess they expected me to pay him which wasn't fair. But I do respect Tiny, because she did pay him something. Kudos to you, boo. Oh, this is getting messy. I'm going to keep it a bean. Um, Latasha, that sounded mad rehearsed. That sounded rehearsed. It didn't sound like it was genuine. So since you didn't steal your sister's money, what happened to the money get detailed okay detail exactly what happened okay because tamika she sat down with the other two ladies of escape and they did an interview i talked about that previously and she detailed exactly what she was told by the company that issued her royalty checks what happened to the checks they were cash signatures were forged all types of stuff so Simply saying I didn't steal $30,000 is not going to be enough because to me, it appears that Tamika has proof, okay? Now, the image that you're looking at is from a interview 
that Latasha did recently. Uh, there's a radio station by the name of 105.3 R&B. That's their name on YouTube, right? So Latasha, she basically is out here working like the rent is due, all right? She's on a press run. She's promoting her gospel album. And she says that although she is solo, she is still a part of Escape. Now, I said, are you sure about that, Miss Thing? Because the ladies are doing shows and it's a trio, okay? So are you sure that you're still part of the group after this? I don't even know. Anyway, she stated that she has a record label. So she has a record label and she said that she signed herself to her record label. Interesting. Now, <laughs> I don't know, man, with all these fraud allegations... Hopefully we won't hear like any stories about you and your husband, like cooking the books or hiding assets. I don't know. I don't know. Your sister say you're a thief. I don't know. Anyway, she says that she knows, you know, what it's like to write a lot of music and not get residuals from it. And she said that she's a student of the game. All right. She said she did a partnership actually with Motown and I forgot the other name of the other, I think Columbia, she said. So it sounds like she's, she's in a very unique uh, deal. That's what it sounds like to me. And she says she has a foundation that gives back to young women who want to quote unquote, do the arts. Okay. What I think you should do, Miss Latasha is you need to start a Tamika. I'm sorry. Here is your money plus interest fund and pay your sister back her money. Real talk. Like, I don't know who in their right mind would go into business with Latasha and her husband, especially because you know, you haven't proven your innocence as it pertains to your sister basically calling you a thief. I'm just saying, where's the where's the proof? Oh boy, and of all the genres for you to enter into, you choose gospel? This this rehearsed speech, that's my roots, that's my roots. Girl, you trying to hide behind the cloak of gospel music. That's what I think. Anyway, Latasha, she she just to me she has this um this disposition, like she's so humble and soft-spoken and it just comes off as she wants to appear like non-threatening. So she's treated delicately. Cause I noticed all these people that she interviews with, they kind of really believe her BS. You know, they're not really pressing her. And I understand as an interviewer, you have to remain, as a journalist, you have to remain unbiased, but I think they could press a little bit more. It seems as if they're buying what she's selling. You know what I mean? And she just seems exhausted to me, like whenever she's talking. And I guess it's hard to keep up appearances, child. I don't know. Anyway, the radio host asked Tasha to set the record straight about the money that she is accused of stealing. And Latasha says that she does not know what that is about. And she did not know about the money situation until the episode aired. This is what she said. You like to hear it? All right, take a listen to what she said. Watch every single week. Set the record straight on a lot of different things. Um, let's start from the beginning. First episode, you had your sister. She accused you of, you and your husband of stealing some money from her. Set the record straight on that. What actually happened? Um, I didn't even understand what that was about mm -hmm. in that scene when she said that. And I didn't learn about the money until, like, when you guys watched it. Okay. So that was just very odd to me because I'd never heard of that before. Mm -hmm. And, no, I did not steal money from my sister. Okay. You know? And I always tell people when, you, when the television comes on, sometimes you want, you know, fame and you want to be the one that's in the spotlight. And sometimes people don't even want to hear the truth when their lives more entertaining. And so... How yeah. is the relationship with your sister now? Because I know at one point in the TV series, you said, hey, you need to apologize to mom. Yeah. And we did see that apology. Where are you guys now? I'm just trying to work it out as a family. And sometimes it's very hard to do it in the public because you want to, you know, just have that one-on-one -on -one time. But then you have so many different people in the business, but not really trying to help. Mm -hmm. And that's why when I'm looking at, you know, some of the comments and some of the things that even some of my group members are doing, I'm like, when are y'all going to help to try, try to find a resolve? Mm -hmm. You guys like this I don't live in the reality TV you know I live on the stage where we sing and that's why I signed up for it I did not sign up for all this craziness and me and Coco talk all the time and we're very like we're hurt by it because it's like we didn't like this is not what it was supposed to be this woman sat at this radio station and said that she did not know anything about this money situation until we the viewers 
until the episode aired. Ha- <laughs> you let a liar talk long enough, and they're gonna they're gonna trip over their their foolishness. And how you didn't hear about the money situation until the episode aired? Were you not present during filming? Filming takes place before the episode airs to the public, right? So when the cameras were in your mama's house and Tamika stood up and said, mama was quiet when you and Rocky stole my money. That filming happened before it aired on television. So how was it the first time that you heard about the money situation when we, the viewers, saw it? That doesn't even make any sense. This doesn't even make any sense. Yo, I can't. This is a this is a this is a bleep show. Anyway, you heard her. She she basically insinuates that, you know, her sister told lies for fame. Um, then you heard her say that she was speaking with Coco and she talks to Coco all the time, and they are hurt by all this drama because this is not what they signed up for. Um, they signed up to sing and not for drama. What does Coco have to do with your family issues? You are a great deflector, Miss Latasha. Don't try to drag Coco in this to make it seem like you have somebody uh, directly involved on your side. Mm -mm. Coco has a completely separate issue with the ladies of, of Escape than you do. Your issue can have legal ramifications, you know what I mean, behind it. Coco just ain't opening up for nobody, and she ain't with the drama. Two separate things. Anyway, she was asked about the issues between Candy, and she says that she doesn't spend time talking about her, and um, there were scenes that we, quote-unquote, did not see where she addresses Candy about their relationship. She says that, that that stuff was cut out because she tried to get to the bottom of the issues between her and Candy. And she said none of that aired. Um, I can believe that, you know, you know, editing, whoever, whoever's in charge of editing or whoever, you know, has a say so as it pertains to how things are edited has the upper hand. And being that Candy has a very, very close, quote unquote, close relationship with Bravo, I wouldn't be surprised if there were some scenes that may have look, made Candy look unfavorable. Um, or cast some doubt about her her character, you know, as a as a group member of Escape. If those were edited out, you know what I mean? Because Candy is Bravo is is home for her, so I'm pretty sure she gets uh, preferential treatment. I could see that. I could see that editing. They play a lot of games when it comes to editing of these these shows. Anyway, she claims that she and her sister were supposed to do a duet gospel album. And I'm saying to myself, what the heck does that have to do with anything? And she goes on to claim that this is why her sister is upset because Tasha chose to do the gospel album alone. So she insinuated that Tamika is jealous because Tasha is doing a gospel album solo when the original deal that was brokered by Rocky was for them to do a joint gospel album. So she wants us to believe that Tamika accused her of stealing her money because she chose to do a gospel album by herself. <laughs> like, how long does Latasha rehearse this BS that she's trying to spit to everybody? I, I just feel like, did she not watch the show that aired? Your mama basically indirectly confirmed that you and your husband did what they're being accused of. Like, who is her PR hus person? Her husband? Her husband is her manager, right? Anyway, Latasha, in my opinion, she's a foolish woman. Um, I think that sometimes she's void of emotion. And it just seems like she is numb. I do still believe that she is a liar and a thief. And this attempt at a solo gospel career, to me, is damage control. That's my opinion. I feel this drama that has um, unfolded on the reality show is only the beginning, okay? And these were my thoughts prior to the video that she did that I showed in the beginning of this video. Even that video, it seems so rehearsed. It's like she took her time to kind of like, you know, write out a script and, and, and fake laugh and 
come up with this story about Jermaine Dupri and Candy crying about singing lead, which very well could be true. But it doesn't have anything to do with the fact that the viewers of SWV and Escape, the queens of R&B, we want to know unanimously. I, 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 I'm pretty sure a lot of you feel the same way. Where is Tamika's money? We don't care about who sang soprano, alto, tenor. We don't care about anybody's runs. We don't care about anybody's vibrato. We don't care about none of that. Where is Tamika's money? This is what Latasha is failing to understand. You can get online and shade candy all you want. Hell, you could do it twice on Sunday since, you know, the church is your roots, you know? But at the end of the day, we want answers. We want you to refute what it is that Tamika is saying, all right? Will Tamika show actual, tangible evidence that these checks were cash and they were deposited into an account that was associated with Rocky? Will we be able to see the canceled checks that Tamika said that she received? Can the company confirm that Tamika's checks went to an address other than the New York address that she lived at at the time that she signed up to get her royalty payments? Find out next time on Dragon Ball Z. I love you for watching. And as always, until next time. Peace.